Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. She's back. I am back. I'm just like looking at this like, what the heck? What were they thinking? I, I mean, it's really, are these the same people who just did the Jungle Cruise ride? Mm, yeah, there, there have been some comments about this Star Wars comic book. Now, uh, disclaimer, this, this book was done actually last year. It's Star Wars Adventures number nine, which mm -hmm. I, I bought digitally so we can thumb through it. And also disclaimer, the artist who did um, the artwork does not draw Mace Windu like this throughout the entire book. But yeah, there, there's- Why been... have it even in there once? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm very surprised given Disney's push for diversity and inclusion that they would allow uh, one of the few black characters in Star Wars to be drawn like this. Yeah, it's not cool at all. Well, we'll talk about that before we get into it any further. Please subscribe. More pop culture news, views, rants, guys. Over 236,000 subs. Woo! Thank you for the support. We do talk about Disney, talk about Star Wars, talk about comic books, and this is all three in one. Woohoo! Uh, all three in one. So this was circulating on Twitter. This is actually a panel of, well, I would say Mace Windu, but it looks nothing like Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, from an IDW published Star Wars comic book for younger readers. Mm -hmm. Now, Disney yanked the license from IDW publishing a couple of weeks ago. Could it be because of this? I don't think it's. I don't think it is. I don't either. think it's because of this, but this is um, very surprising, knowing how ridiculous Disney can be with their license books and the hurdles you have to jump through uh, to get stuff approved. I know firsthand there's some covers I've done where they've gone through like a freaking gauntlet of, you know, we had one, I did a test track cover. I remember just top of my head, and this was for IDW and the ride has a guardrail, but they wouldn't let me put the guardrail on the cover of the book. Cause I don't know if they thought, well, guardrails imply that our rides are unsafe. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, I remember that. Uh, anyway, um, this is supposed to be Mace Windu in Star Wars. I'm trying to make that face, and even if you made that face, it wouldn't look like that. I'm just trying to make like, make that face. No, your lips kind of go up, not... It's like his whole jaw dropped. Yeah, people are saying that the um, the appearance of Mace Windu in this book is very, well, simian. Yeah, okay, there. mammalian in another way. Uh, yeah, and that, uh, you know, it's not... It's not a good look. Mm -mm. It's a racist caricature. Now, I don't think this was uh, deliberately malicious because, you know, again, we'll go out and we'll look at the actual book, uh, bought the book, and he does not look that way in other panels. Um, that being said, this does seem to show a lack of editorial oversight yes. because it jumped out at people almost immediately. It's like, if you're looking through this even casually, it's like, oh, hey, yeah, yeah maybe, I maybe. I just saw it and I was like, the... Maybe not. Maybe not. But uh, yeah, again, this is from last year. This is from before IDW losing the license. Uh, people said it's a racist caricature. A lot of reactions. It does look. <sighs> Hold your fire. It's not cool. I don't. I don't even see how that got through. No. Um, it's from Star Wars Adventures number nine, which I have, and we'll we'll thumb through it and we'll find that panel. But elsewhere, Mace Windu looks fine. I mean, no. he's stylized. Fine by the fine art style, I guess. It's, that's it's the art style. It's not a good... But uh, okay. there's a big difference between this and this. Yes, yes. You know, and this is actually, I think, from the same page. So huge difference there. But yes, from IDW Publishing, um, I don't think it was deliberate trolling, but when you see clearly Samuel L. Jackson depicted in other comics and it looking much, mm -hmm. much better, you know... Uh, yeah, it, it's, it was not a good look, Disney. Yeah. Not a good look. Oh, I can't even. I don't know how that got through. Yeah. So, you know, especially with Disney's uh, self-professed uh, focus on diversity okay. and inclusion. I'm just going to tell you what it is. Disney's self-professed diversity and inclusion initiative is just so they can try to pander and try to act like they're trying to do something. But at the end of the day, it's still all about money. And so I'm trying to probably get people to subscribe to Disney+. Plus. Um, they probably noticed it was mostly, you know demographics wise was probably more like you know white families and they're like trying to appeal to other people and yeah, and that's yeah. what they're pushing this diversity and inclusion i don't think it has anything to do with actually giving a shit about diversity and inclusion um because they would they then they should have been caring about it for a lot longer than just this last year and because this got through I'm kind of like, well, if you really cared about diversity and inclusion. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that pops up. And again, I don't I don't think the artist 
uh, th- this definitely was not the intention, but it, it does show that like, you know, there's some other things too with these comics. It's kind of like, are you asleep at the wheel? Cause they were looking, looking at the, uh, some of the other YouTube channels looking through the Marvel comics and the art was like really off, you know, and I know IDW's page rates aren't the highest, but I mean, some of the stuff was like really like, wow, this is like below web comics level. Yeah. That it's, <laughs> you know? It, 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 yeah. Um, anyway, so here we have some, here, here we have some Twitter reactions. Bra racist AF LOL. Uh, only in can can these guys draw Master Maze Windu as a hairless chimp and then get the gall to call us racist. That is the thing. Um, Lucasfilm employees uh, have delighted in calling people who are not fans of Disney Star Wars racist trolls mm-hmm. and you know, you're horrible. You just don't want to see black people the typical, in Star you know, Wars. You're an istophobe. There's something wrong with you. It's not uh, us. It's always your fault. It's always your fault. You know, even you know. though Mace Windu and Lando are incredibly popular characters mm-hmm. and uh, a lot of people who have been critical of Disney Star Wars, one of the biggest criticisms has been that John Boyega's Finn was completely wasted. Right. Wasted. Oh, it was. He was like my favorite. And then they just completely ruined that. And then they took it, they minimized him on the posters for China and stuff. I'm like, don't tell about us how racist they are. You know, check your own racism and your privilege there, Disney first. How many people saw this in OK? That's what I want to know. Well, OK. So this is where it gets uh, interesting as IDW bought this book. Do, 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 do. Who was the editor was Heather Antos. Oh. Yes, Heather Antos of Milkshake fame was the editor of this book. Now, if you look through the book, I mean, none of these, <laughs> none of these images are terribly flattering. Uh, you know, no, Anakin it's just the here art. is not. I mean, oh, that bottom image. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's all over the place. And, I, you know, this artist, I don't think, is incredibly good at, like, you know, celebrity likenesses. I mean, some of the Marvel comics you look at, and this is for a younger audience, but you look at some of the Marvel comics, and and they're almost photorealistic. Actually, mm-hmm. some of them, it looks like they, they trace over, which kind of takes me out of it. They do sometimes, yeah. Kind of takes me out of it, but it's all over the place. But nothing is as egregious as... Well, that's uh, not too bad. No, it's not bad. This isn't bad. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> This looks like pissed off Lex Luthor, but it's it's not terrible, right? It's okay. Well, what's up with that? These are... They're, what? They're like... That took like five minutes to draw. I don't know what these are. And the bottom one. What the flip? This looks like 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 a new Pac-Man or something. Well, they, probably have, they, they must have a real low page rate. I um, hope they have a real low page rate. Otherwise, Disney got ripped off. Or uh, but, IW, whoever who did this. Yeah, I mean, they're not terrible. I mean, you know, I don't think the art's that, that bad. Oh. For a younger audience, I don't think it's that bad. And he doesn't look like a chimpanzee uh, elsewhere in the book. Because I, I look through it, I'm like, this is, okay, fine, fine. I and then we get to this. the artist is more comfortable with, like, drawing, like, the, the uniforms and, the, and like, the stormtroopers and, and aliens like, and, and, and stuff. animals. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, they're more, they're more, um, maybe they're, maybe they're usually doing animal pictures. I don't know. It's so bad. I don't know why they thought that was okay. I, I just, I can't. I, I don't know. I mean, it's probably just they weren't thinking. But yeah, um, people were kind of. So now I'm kind of like I'm I'm torn because I'm looking at this like okay, this was kind of a weird thing to pull out of the past now because mm-hmm. this book came out like in May of 2020, right? And then, you know, looking that Heather Antos was the editor. And knowing how a lot of people on the internet feel about Heather Antos, I'm kind of like, was somebody go digging to find stuff that she worked on? Why maybe, would that she wasn't. let this through? That, well, know. that's the bigger issue, right? And and it's the same with Marvel Comics, too. It's not just Heather Antos. It's other other editors of Marvel Comics, too, where typos are getting through, um, you know, a lot of really wonky art. And, I, you know, my takeaway from it is... You know, as far as comic books are concerned, I don't think Disney cares as much as they used to about comic books. I just don't think they do. I think they're like, now, when I worked on Disney comics, they were freaking ridiculous about mm-hmm. everything. The color had to be exact. Colors palettes. had to be exact. Characters no had... white at all. Like, no white. You had to make sure every white spot you know, was, yeah. you know, filled. Faces on characters. I actually had a couple instances where they would, you know, take take some of the stuff I worked on and then they would redline, mm-hmm. like change, you know, the duck beak to look more like this, whatever. And I'm like, when it comes to the, the Star Wars stuff, they're like, yeah, we don't give a shit. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, you know, when it comes to the Marvel stuff, yeah, we don't give a shit because we've seen some, you know, Marvel stuff that wasn't wasn't great. So, um, 
yeah, people were like, man, this is bad. But, you know, at this point, like, the ship has already sailed mm -hmm. because they already lost the license. We, we talked about this. Yeah, so what are they going to do? We're going we're gonna to demand that they pull from IDW. They already did. Yeah, and I don't, again, I don't think this necessarily had anything to do with it, but I have to wonder if people at Disney were just like, yeah, we're not feeling it. Or more than likely the sales were not there for, for Star Wars or IDW. Or uh, they looked at IDW and they're like, man, your company is a dumpster fire. Yeah. Like you guys are a dumpster fire. You're losing money every quarter. We don't want to be associated with you. Uh, now, my understanding, talking to people on the Disney publishing side, uh, my understanding was that, you know, Marvel was kind of looking at at IDW to potentially push all of their comics over there. Mm -hmm. And they gave them a test. They gave them a, a handful of books, you know, Spider-Man, Captain Marvel, whatever, all ages versions of those books. And they failed the test. Mm -hmm. And then they started hemorrhaging money. And they're like, yeah, that's yeah, yeah it's not going to work. Um, we ain't feeling it. <laughs> this isn't working for us. No, but it is an old book. It's been out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is only the one place. But still, you're like, how does this even get past the people? I, I don't know. Anyway. Anyway. There it is. We're putting it in context. Uh, we actually take, we actually went and bought the book to put it in context. We did to see what was going on. And it's, it's kind of old news. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.